While COVID took the headlines for the past two years, many other health issues took a back seat. Yeah, for one Hot Springs family, they had to deal with the effects of both when their one-year-old first caught a rare brain cancer and then got COVID. THV 11's Jay Jackson shares how her parents want Nora's legacy to create solutions for other babies. You would have never have known she had cancer if you didn't see her little bald head. No little regret. Nora McConathy spent the last four months of her life in and out of Arkansas Children's Hospital. Due to a rare brain cancer called ETMR, stands for embryonal tumor with multilayer rosettes. It's an extremely rare, aggressive brain cancer. You can find Nora everywhere around her mother Tiffany McConathy's office. Every day I get choked up looking at pictures of her, but I do it to remind myself that she's in a better place, but I'm going to work every day to honor her and to make changes. Changes she feels needs to be done because Nora tested positive for COVID two weeks before she died in February. Testing positive meant that Nora's treatment had to be delayed. Her cancer progressed on the four weeks that she was without treatment, so that's ultimately why she died. The final blow to us was after her death, we had requested a research autopsy due to the rarity of her cancer. McConathy says she was told because Nora had COVID right before, the hospital couldn't perform it. Other hospitals were reached out to, but they all said no. We did find out that the state crime lab could have done the autopsy and would have done the autopsy for us. It would have been something we paid for out of our pocket. The family was willing to pay, but they found out too late since they already said goodbye to Nora, which is why they're working to make sure COVID no longer plays a factor in patients' Care and when there's research to be done. It makes me wonder how many other cancers or other disease processes aren't being learned about and treated because they refuse to do autopsies because someone tested positive for COVID. In Hot Springs, Jade Jackson, THV 11 News. Jade, thanks so much. Nora's family is now working on funding a nonprofit. Yeah, it would work to make sure more pediatric research is done.